but uh, we'll uh, uh, I'll tell you what I got, and then, then we'll stand by for some uh, additions and corrections here. I got NC4BJ, KE4RUN, N4SNV, KK4BBU, and Bill, uh, KK4OAJ, checked in and out. Thanks for stopping by, Bill. Who have I missed? Uh, please come. KK4KFG. All right. Well, that was a good round. I like that one. Uh, well, fine folks the whole way, but that was a, that was the biggest round we've had. <laughs> we'll go on up to the top and see what the Bravo is up to and see if his rankings are uh, registering. Okay, uh, NC4BJ, KM4TC. I tell you what, man, it's great to have a half man certified ranking radio. I could do my barbecue and separate and apart from everything else and then take that same rig and get on the air and tire up some airways. Thank you, ma'am, for checking me in. NC4BJ heard AI4WJ in there. Sounds like I just caught the tail end of it, but sounds like my pal is Jeff Hardy from Texas. Yeah, he's got a good radio show. Yeah, he is. And he's got some good ideas about the radio show. Sounds like he's Yeah, the uh, one I've got is that Buxcom, uh, Buxcom Wyndham, and uh, it's, uh, they call it a Wyndham, but it's just an off-center fed dipole with the 4 to 1 ballon, you know, to offset the 200, 200 ohm impedance in that offset uh, position. But it, uh, I don't use the tuner anywhere but 75. Uh, it, uh, I keep it in the bypass position everywhere but 75. Uh, 75 is too big a band for it to be resonant the whole way. But, uh, it, it does have, it, I have to run the tuner on the phone net. It's not bad. It's a little over two to one. It's enough to cut the power way back on this, uh, uh, 746. But I always run through the tuner anyway because I like to keep an eye on my watt meter. And, uh, I like, uh, uh, I just like it, so I, I, I that tuner stays set for 39.75, and I just click it around there. I never, very rarely use the internal tuner, um, but uh, on uh, 40, 20, uh, 17, uh, 10, and 6, uh, well, it's good. On uh, on 10. 20 and 40 it's flat as a dummy load i mean you, there's, there's no reflector power no tuner i mean i just love it just hopping bands around never have to worry about it of course i like my old doublet out there in the barn too but i got to tune it everywhere i go but it performs too but it's just real convenient 
Uh, this thing has been uh, one of the easiest antennas to deal with I've ever had. Um, that's the one I told you Todd uh, bought it for me for Christmas and jumped across the ditch. Uh, he, he stopped the car in the road and got out with a bag and his wife got out and got in the driver's seat and went on over to mom and dad's and Todd jumped the ditch. Right. He had already told me about it so I had the pole uh, ready. Uh, right, ready to pull up like a flag, and, and we were in there operating in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, BJ, okay. that's clear with NC4BJ, and Sarah wants to call the next one. Yay! Oh my gosh, look! Mm -hmm. Okay, look okay, it, uh, <laughs> hey! Okay, it, um, next is KE4, are you in? Hargrove. Hargrove, go ahead. I knew it was him. I knew it. Don't say I didn't know. My brother BJ over here waxed me. Well, BJ, I tell you what, I have my beans. They were raised to the west. I'm running 25 milliwatts. So I'll give you that, brother. But anyway, not a whole lot happened, sir. I just see you on Facebook. The moon's really good. I want to see the second one. There's two. There's a dog and tail, too. I see some pictures. It was probably last week. She's talking to Oh, he is? Oh, yeah. Growing up fast. Not much else. I'm waiting for my youngest daughter. She's coming in from East Carolina tonight. Spend a week with us. I know who that is. You don't have to. And that's Tom. And don't tell me. AJ is. Jay? And then just like if I really can't figure it out, then you tell me. Because I'm trying to learn them. Thank you, Lord, And then you move on to see if I got to run. If I have a great weekend, call us a good day. Good to hear you too, man. Katie, how are you with my dad? Well, thank you, Hard Guys. Um, my dad had to go to the bathroom, I guess. Yeah, so he's not very far. I guess he could still hear you. Um, so next is M4 SMBC. Go ahead with your right cheek. Hey, good evening, Sarah. Good to hear you on the net. You know what? It doesn't matter if your dad's not there. You're going to find John. I always enjoy hearing you call the net. I don't have much to say. Uh, I just want to check in for the numbers. Too much time on it. 
Yeah, he spends a lot of time on it. The first, the first night he got it, he didn't. I think he didn't want to go to Ashley's or something because he wanted to play on it because it was the first night he got it. So I don't know. So anyway, um, thank you again. If I didn't already say that, I forgot. I talk a lot. Anyway, um, so next is KK4 KFG. Mr. Aaron, go ahead. I probably. Well, Sarah, thank you for checking me in. The FCC certainly knew what they were talking about when they gave you your call sign. That's all right. We're glad to hear you. And uh, hello to your dad sitting there in the background. It is Friday night. Thank goodness. Last Friday night. Uh, I got to work this weekend, but that's all right. I've been having fun and playing, and I will. Uh, Kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll second the uh, Buckscom. Uh, I picked one up uh, based off uh, Bams and, and Robbie's uh, recommendation and have enjoyed that for well over a year. Uh, Making some pretty good contacts with that and uh, certainly fairly easy. Now I use a tenor more than Bams does, but I'm sure that's Wasn't he on, talking uh, about the Xbox One? My lack of knowledge. But anyway, having a good old yeah, time like and Tom, just uh, looking about forward to hearing the, the rest of the day. It was good to hear I'm pretty sure he was, because we won't. If it won't, I start uh, talking about it. Old um, East Carolina's on spring break already, but I guess it is that time of the year. So uh, I guess they'll get their spring break in and, well, get on back and do some classes. So good to hear everybody, and I uh, hope everybody's doing all right. KK4, KFG, back to net control. All right, well, thank you, Aaron. And we are actually at the bottom of the list. So, um, so we are calling for more chicken. K4QBG. Who's that? Jerry. K4VNX. I knew that was. KK4FY. AK. For FY Alan. Alan, I knew that because he's always up there. Mm. I'm still learning stuff, but I knew yours. Well, I think you're still watching. If you're not, I, I don't know. <laughs> but all right, recognize. All right, the, so the net recognizes K E four Q B G Jerry K E four V N X. Diane and AK4FY, Alan. Um, are there any additions or corrections? See, I did something you didn't even know, you didn't even think about. Mm -hmm. I lost. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, I guess next is KE4QBG. Mr. Jerry, go ahead. I'm starting to say Mr. stuff like now, and I'm just like not used to it. Thank you for calling on me. Okay. Up front, you do, do you want to turn off that light? Like? Um, do you want to turn off that light? Very proud of you. Like? No, your dad is. He's like right. making a glare on my eyes. Had a great day today. You can stay inside because it was so cold. But I think tomorrow I'm going to get out, and I'm going to go to a tractor sale. <gasps> and uh not gonna buy anything, just going to see what's being sold. And spend probably half a day there. And uh, if it's not too cold. What? I know. It's it is uh, it's down at the bottom. Do do? It's down at the bottom. You can do it this time. That's about all I've got to say is for you to check into the net. Hadn't checked in lately. Everybody have a safe night and a safe weekend. Just hit X. And uh, hello to Mr. Van, and you keep up the good work, Miss Sarah. You're doing an excellent job. Ke four QBG back to the net. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Jerry. And um, oh, man, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something about I don't know. I was thinking about it and then I forgot. Um, I can't remember. What was he talking about? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm having a senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so do you remember what he was talking about? Go ahead and give us Diane. Oh, well, well anyway, about. um, I'll figure it out sometime. Um, so. He's <laughs> going to a tractor show. I know, I know that. It was something about something else. I don't know. You might have to do a recheck in a little bit, Jerry, <laughs> and remind her what you were talking about. 
But, but in the meantime, we'll go on the Miss Diane. Because I was just like, I was just like, really like, I knew what to say. And then I was just like, I'm Lost not. it. I like literally just lost well, let's it. Let's get Miss anyway, Diane on there before okay. she gives up on us. Yeah. So <laughs> next is KE4VNX. Miss Diane, go ahead. Okay, Sarah, you're too young to be having a senior moment. <laughs> this is KE4VNX. Had a pretty good day today. Uh, hope the weather gets better, a little bit warmer, and it dries up a little bit. I got to go Remember clean up where my Leland Cypress is fell down. How did it do that? When it, oh, we got all that ice <laughs> back last week. Then how do I get rid of it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Plan to do that tomorrow. Got out and got my walk in today. That's really about all I did. So I'll turn it back over to you. This is Katie for VMA. All right. Thank you, Miss Diane. And. Well, is uh, the only reason I called it a senior moment is because Daddy always calls it a senior moment, and I don't think I think I'm too young to have a senior moment. But I just forget stuff. I've always had them. I just have so many thoughts in my head; they all get rattled around, and then they don't come out my mouth. So I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> next. Oh well, thank you. If I didn't say that, I don't think I said. Did I say that? I don't See matter. again, I ha I'm having a senior moment. See, I. I get jumbled up in all my thoughts. You got input overload. Yeah. <laughs> so next is AK4FY. Mr. Allen, go ahead. Oh, wait. Isn't there this thing where it's got granny glasses? I've got to get that on. Uh, okay. Um. Just wanted to say hello to everybody on the net and all the listeners out there. Let me uh, have uh, uh, Sarah. Can I speak to Alan directly for a second since we're at the bottom of the list? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Alan, uh, which episode did she see? Uh, the very, the very first one or one forty one? Oh. Sorry about that. It was. She now I was looking for the first one. The one she saw was one forty one. Man, AK four four. Okay, I think he's on the first one or one of the very first ones too. And he may be on a few more times. And of course, he wrote the theme music for the show. But uh, uh, yeah, they have some uh, 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 good. Uh, it's an entertaining show. And uh, I love to, you know, I've got the smart TV in the living room. I love to watch them on YouTube once they put it into the podcast. Uh, they, they, there is a uh, Ham Nation uh, channel on there, and you can watch them all, all of them, anytime you want to. And. Uh, with these smart TVs, you can sit back and watch them in the living room. But uh, I do enjoy it. And when you get your HF stuff up and running, you'll have to get on the post show now because those hosts get on there. Uh, Bob Heil and uh, and George and Dale and I, you know a lot of them. They get on there. You get to talk to them. And uh, oh shoot, I was gonna say something else about that, but <laughs> I'm having one of those same moments that Sarah oh, had. Oh, <laughs> see, it's not must, only me. Must be genetic. But, uh, thank you, Alan. I, while I got the microphone, I'll go ahead and uh, no! see if we. No, I'm gonna do it. Okay, well, I'm gonna let her do it. Here we go. I'm gonna be mine it. It's gonna be mine it tonight. Since I, I think I missed like most of the last one. I didn't call her anyway because I was working on webcam mix. So anyway, <laughs> sorry, I said anyway too fast. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we are at the bottom of the list for more check-ins. And by the way, this is KM4GKT and 
J4TC. And I'm so happy that I'm actually first that time. So that's fun. Why did you put sunglasses on me? <laughs> oh my gosh, they actually look so good with mine. Hey. We're gonna put him like a little farther back because he just went. Oh, okay. yeah, there was another guy that went. So, so we got AK four flies recheck. We're looking for the next. We got AK four F flies recheck, and we are with. Well, we heard somebody else back there, so that was kind of a double. Uh, it's funny how that works. You get a long break like that, and Alan came in to save the net, and, uh, and then there was a double. So whoever doubled with Alan, uh, come back again. Hey, it's Will with a recheck, KK4MOZ. I'll try it again. Okay. Got you that time, Will. Yep. All right. Uh, anybody else? Oh, yeah, anybody else. Recheck, AI4WJ. Um, who's that? Who's that? That's Renee. Renee. Okay. And who's that? Will. Will and Alan. Are we going to put them in Alan? Go ahead and recognize them all. All right. So, the net recognizes AK4FY, Alan, KK4MOZ, Will, and AI4WJ, Renee. And let's get Will first because he's mobile. He might be getting out toward the fringe. Yeah. So, go ahead. episode 141 too he talking about all the stuff he had oh my gosh is point, that that guy at one point he said i don't know maybe i just don't want anybody else to have it <laughs> uh ai4wj km4tc go ahead renee okay man sarah this is ai4wj this is renee hey man sarah what's up man In the meantime, I had to go as an inverted V. It performs better flat, especially on lower bands like 75. The uh, the tuner is uh, uh, less needed, uh, up a little bit higher than what I've got mine. I am only, you know, we had that tornado come through uh, in 2011 and took down every tree I had and tower and everything. So I'm still, uh, I'm just running on 30 feet of television mast. And then I've got about a, about an eight foot post at each end of the yard and I've got them far enough away that the ends of the antenna are still up pretty high but you know it's 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 uh <laughs> it's not a real steep angle I don't know what the angle would be but it's definitely inverted V and I mean I've just been thrilled to death with it uh it 
it, uh, <laughs> it, if you can hear them, you can work them. I mean, you know, most of the time, unless it's just an absolutely huge pile of But I just get the best reports I've ever had with that antenna, and the e the, it's the easiest to use. Uh, so uh, it's just one of those, and it's not a cheap wire antenna. I think it's over $100. I can't remember exactly how much, but uh, it is uh, really nice. But when you add up the way that thing's built with all the strain relief, and uh, the stuff that's built into it, and that four to one balance. If you bought all the parts and made it, you'd still have a pretty good penny in it. So I, I went the easy route on that one. Real easy, because I got it for Christmas. I didn't have to pay for mine. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, hope uh, hope that uh, answers a few of your questions anyway, Renee. And go to their website. It's uh, www.bookscom.com, I think. And, and they've got something on there. They developed that particular one, you know. But it's just, it's pretty much just an off-center fed dipole. But read the, they've got, they call it the Wyndham Handbook. And uh, read that right up in there. It's kind of interesting, the guy that, I reckon he's the guy that's, you know, started Buxcom. Uh, he uh, uh, tells a pretty good story about how he got interested in, in uh, uh off-center fed dipoles and windoms and whatever. The main reason he says is because he couldn't afford a tuner <laughs> when he was a kid and a, a young ham. And it's just a good story and it tells about them. And they've got the measurements and everything. You could take the information they've got on there and build one. But uh, those things are pretty well known. I, I was on the air with a guy from uh, a new, no, uh, shoot, Nova Scotia or somewhere the other morning, uh, Canada on 20 meters and he was uh, using a Yagi uh, aim south and I was on that antenna and he was uh, really impressed with my signal. I said, well, your antenna's probably doing most of the work, but it's, uh, when I when I asked him, well, when he, t he asked me what I was on, I just said a off-center fed dipole, 80 meter off-center fed dipole and I was operating on 20 and, and he came back and asked me, is that, is that the uh, Buxcom uh, dipole or, or which one? You know, you want to know which one. So it's, it's fairly well known. So check out that website. Um, and I, I responded to you, Renee. I don't even know if I gave you a chance to uh, finish your comment. Over. No, that's fine, man. That's exactly uh, what I wanted to hear, brother. And I, I appreciate that. I sure do appreciate all the information you give me. I uh, yeah, I definitely want to make contacts around the world if can, so uh, that really sounds like an awesome antenna. And I'll definitely go out and check out the website and, and read up. In fact, I was reading up on one here on uh, on Hamnet uh, now. It's the, uh, the Boscon Wyndham 80 through, uh, six, uh, 80 through 6 meters, and there's a lot of good reviews there. Thanks a lot, man. And, uh, and uh, Sarah, y'all have a great evening. 7 3 to everybody. AI 4 WJ. Well, I'll tell you this, Renee, at the, when I got mine, Todd got his first, and as far as my little group of friends and family, Todd got his first, and he was telling me about it, and I really, I believed him, but I really, you just don't believe it until you see it with your own eyes, the, the SWR and stuff, uh, and when he brought that thing home, and we pulled it up, and he, we started checking the SWR on each band, and he was just standing there smiling, and I, my jaw hit the floor just about. And so after that, Sam K4OC got one, Robbie uh, Wheeler, KD4WIY got one, and I can't remember how many more uh, in the area, but there was several of us bought them were all happy. Write down no now. complaints. Uh, and it, uh, and it, it's good on six. My SWR might be 1.7 to 1 on six meters. So, and 17 is uh, around 1.5 to 1. On 10, as I said earlier, 10, 20, and 40 is flat as a pancake. It's amazing. And, you know, that it orientation and height and one thing or another can affect that a little bit. But overall, they, they just work. You can you can have it. Uh, it doesn't have to be stretched out straight, be an inverted V. It can be an L, a horizontal L. It can be whatever you need it to be. Uh, they'll tell you all that in that, uh, in that uh, on the website. All right, oh, Sarah, you want to see if uh, anybody else wants you to check talk, in with us? Oh, you want to write I this I want to try, okay? Sarah's going to try to write it down, so if there were many people, we'll probably get in a mess here, but we'll see. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you put it on the table where you can... Yeah, but if you're not... Okay, okay. All right, so I want to say the thing. All right, so, um, okay, uh, we...
we are at the bottom of the list, calling for more check-ins. Anybody that'd like to join us here, come on in. K-D-4-K-I-S. K-D-4-K-I. 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 K-D-4-K-I.
One. <laughs> Definitely one. But I don't know what you're. I don't know what they are. Big are Bubba they? burgers are big, fat, juicy, delicious burgers. But that's between you and your arteries, Tom. <laughs> you just have to make the decision. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping you're making the right choice for your arteries and giving it to me. So, um, anyway. We would need a teleporter for that. Yeah, is he done? Are you uh, done? Uh, let him respond. Uh, I'll, uh, uh, are you done? <laughs> All right, Miss Jerry, KK4 BBY. Well, I told my doctor yesterday, and they did all the all the stuff, and, and he said, I don't understand this, but based on everything, you're most likely to die of old age, and so I'm just, you know, thinking that maybe, I don't know, I'm awful hungry, but maybe <laughs> I'll start with one, and then if I'm still hungry, I'll have